Okay, so the topic now is estimates of the age of the universe. And you may have heard it said you can estimate the age of the universe by simply taking 1 over the Hubble constant. Well, here's what NASA has to say. That if the universe is flat, the age of the universe would be about two-thirds of 1 over the Hubble constant. But if the universe is comprised of a low density of matter, which is what we think it is, then yes, the age of the universe can be estimated as being about 1 over the Hubble constant. And up here is the URL for the NASA page about this. And here's a close-up of the URL in case you want it. So, to calculate the edge of the universe, we're going to take 1 over the Hubble constant. So let's assume it's 72. And then we have to convert the units. So here's the unit conversion numbers. And they go in there. And when you do that, it comes out to 13.5 billion years. Now obviously, if we're calculating a value for the Hubble constant from first principles of, let's say, a half of that is 36, then the answer would come out to be about 27 billion years. But it's not that simple because, as you recall, even calculated using the first principles formula, the Hubble constant for the cosmic microwave background radiation comes out to be 72. So here's a graph with the Hubble constant values on the y-axis and time down here. Now we know that for all times back to at least 1.6 billion years ago, the Hubble constant from first principles is going to be about 36 or in that range depending on what the data set is that it's calculated from. Now, the 27 billion year estimate would be accurate if the Hubble constant was more or less at 36 all the way back in time. But we know that it wasn't. So the question of figuring out how far back this time in time this was depends on the shape of this curve. In other words, when was it that the Hubble constant dropped from being about 72 near the Big Bang to about 36? Do we find it now? If the shape of the curve looked like this and the drop was relatively recently, which is admittedly very unlikely, then the age of the universe would be much closer to the 13.5 billion year end of the spectrum. On the other hand, if the curve looked like this and the drop-off in the Hubble constant was more at times closer to the Big Bang, then the age of the universe would be more towards the 27 billion year end of the spectrum. So I put those numbers in here because those would be the number values associated with the graph for that point in time when the cosmic microwave background radiation was emitted. Now, I'm not going to guess or estimate or make predictions about the shape of the curve. All I'm going to say at this point in time is that there are some fascinatingly interesting work that can be done on this whole question. And I'm hoping that you or some other viewers will be interested in looking at that 
and making progress on the shape of this curve and a more accurate estimate for the age of the observed universe.